I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. I'll free you. Right after you tell me. I'm sure you mean well. But I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Can you tell me about the people who passed through town now? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. unusual. The powder gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. 
Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Any idea why? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago, and she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. 
I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Those caps are bad luck. Why don't you let me hold on to them for you? Even if what you're saying is true, I think I'll take my chances. This necklace and I have been through a lot, and we're both still kicking. If that's not lucky, what is? Just be more careful in the future, okay? I will. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road, believe me. Powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah! What sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> Time for me to go. Later. Enough!
Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing in Novak? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. So what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. It's nice to see a friendly face out here. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? I could use a bed and some supplies you... Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. You said the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Goodbye. Be seeing you. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. What is there of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Anything else? Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Tell me more about Repcon. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! If it weren't for the water caravans, Novak would have turned to dust a long time ago. Don't listen to a word Nobark says. I don't think he ever sleeps, so it's no wonder he spouts nothing but nonsense. Look who's here. What brings you here? What do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. 
I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. How did No Bark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. it. Wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor No Bark. I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings, but he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. Have you lived here a long time? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Goodbye. Nice of you to visit. Howdy. Things treating you all right? What do you do here in Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. How is business lately? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Can't say I have, but we usually keep to ourselves down here. You might have more luck up by the motel. Maybe ask Jeannie May. Nothing happens in this town that she don't know about. She'll be up in the lobby most days. Goodbye. So long. <laughs>